Western coastline of Saudi Arabia never disappoints and the riders were in for a real treat at the start of this ninth stage with some absolutely breathtaking scenery. But it was set to be a very long and a very tough day, physically, mentally and emotionally. It was a year ago today that Joaquim Rodriguez lost his brother-in-law Paulo Gonçalves and the emotion was raw for the Portuguese rider at the finish line. This morning I was crying and uh, until I start I was, the tears were coming out of my eyes and uh, it was a tough day for me. But I made it. I got to the finish line so I'm really happy. And this, this one is for him, it's for Paul. Today spelled the end of Ross Branch's rally. After dropping from 4th to 15th overall with that crash on stage 7, the Kalahari Ferrari was undone by a broken engine. Another major blow for Yamaha, but Branch is staying at beat. You know, I think it's uh, it's been one crazy rally and it's been 110% the whole time, every day. So, you know, everything's taking a pound in us, the bikes, everything. So. You know, it is Dakar and it can happen to anyone, so we're safe, we're sound and we, we're going to be back next year fighting, uh, fighting for the top position for sure. And then drama at kilometre 155. Toby Price crashing out of the rally when he was well in the mix for a third title. Several riders stopped to attend to the Australian who suffered injuries down his left hand side and had to be airlifted to hospital in Tabuk. You know, it's it's something that we have to think about every time we put gear on every morning. You know, we it, it could be it. You know, and um, this day last year we we lost a really good friend, Paulo, and um, today Toby crashed and and went out of the rally, but uh, he's gonna be okay. This will be just the second time that Price has failed to finish the Dakar in seven participations after breaking his leg in 2017. Well, no denying that this was one of the most demanding stages of the rally with high speed and tricky navigation in amongst these breathtaking landscapes. Unfortunately, Toby Price was not the only rider to have an accident today. Luciano Benavides also crashed out at the 242 kilometer mark and the Argentine was also taken to hospital with an injured shoulder. Well, this ninth stage could well go down as one of the most decisive of the rally. Here's Joan Barreda who lost 14 and a half minutes. The Spaniard appeared to stray off course after a very strong start. Now Bang Bang has won three stages this year, but he is still waiting for that elusive first Dakar title. And now he is almost half an hour off the pace overall. Brabeck spent over 20 minutes with Price until the helicopter arrived and then found himself in the dust behind Bereda and Sanders. He was given back time and finished second on the stage and he's now up to fourth overall. And that's because the red bikes are really starting to take control of this rally. Kevin Benavides won the stage to make it seven wins out of nine for Honda. The Argentine only found out about his brother Luciano's crash when he reached the finish line. Nacho Cornejo opened from start to finish and admitted that he lost a bit of focus when he found out about Price at refueling. Chilean had to keep himself fired up throughout a mentally exhausting day, but he did another fantastic job with navigation to increase his overall lead. I think I did a good job. Hopefully the guys behind didn't gain too much time on me. I did make a couple of little errors, but fortunately I didn't lose much time. I hope that I'll have extended my overall lead a bit and yeah, we'll just see how the others did. The top five after an extremely hectic day. A Honda 1-2-3 with Benavides, Brabeck and Corneco ahead of Sunderland and Van Beveren. Corneco now has 11 minutes 24 in hand over Benavides with Sunderland a further 14 and a half minutes back. All four Honda riders inside the top five. Giovanni Enrico took his first win of the rally in the quads class. He hasn't been outside the top five since back in Jeddah. 
But Alexandre Giroud and Manuel Anderha finished within two minutes and the latter still leads by almost 20 minutes.